Hi folks, welcome to my comms room. Um, we will start at the top of the rack. Um, I have an old 17 inch CRT monitor. That thing's an absolute monster and also a dinosaur. Yeah, but it's okay as I don't really use it along with the keyboards that are here and here and down there. I don't really use them very often. Uh, so certainly don't use this at all really. Uh, I tend to administer my whole entire rack by SSH as all my uh, comms cabinet is Linux based. Um, so here we have an old, old Linksys router, wired I must add. Underneath that is an ASS drive, not an ASS, I mean NAS, sorry guys. <laughs> um, here is the Linux distro, five CentOS 5.6 discs, seven of them, because a lot of my servers are too old to carry DVD drives, so uh, I have them on CDR, which is great. Below that, is a Draytech Vigor 2820 router with dual WAN. This thing's great if you are on a public network and a private network like I am here. Um, all my internal machines that I don't want access from the outside world are all issued with a standard local IP like 192.168 etc etc. Um, and the rest of the machines are issued that I want access to the outside world are issued with the public IPs which is great means I can uh, have access to them. Below that is a nice wire tidy which is not so quite tidy at the moment um, due to my router being pushed out of its normal rack space by a badass AMD 2.8 gig processor 64 bit that one is with a I believe an 80 gig hard drive and 2 gigs of RAM pretty pants by today's standards but it's a 64 bit processor and that has CentOS 5.6 again with a tricked box installed on it above that before we go any further is my uh, 3 com 1 gigabit switch and below that is my awesome Dow Power Edge 2650 these guys are really quite incredible service really powerful and that has running CentOS 5.6 um, CentOS 5.6 with Solus VM so, uh, slave drive on it. This is also has a RAID 5 SCSI, they're all SCSI drives in it with RAID 5 and there's around a terabyte of space on this machine, it's awesome, it's got 4 gigs of RAM as well. Below that is my currently my main machine which I am planning on moving up to the Dow Power Edge but at the moment it sits on a micro 1U unit, it has 4 gigs of RAM with two 2.8 giga, gigahertz processors that is running Solus VMware um, Master Edition uh, on top of CentOS 5.6 again um, so that is that so that's pretty much my entire network and inside that one new unit there at the bottom, not the 4U one, the, the old piece of crap uh, the one new one with the fancy lights in it is running several virtual machines it runs my website it also runs my uh, Trixbox, uh, one of my master Trixbox installs, although this one is open to the public too, but this one is my private one, um, which is great. And that's obviously acting as a slave, so that's a backup unit. I must add that I'm not running XN, and I'm not running KVN, or anything else. I'm just running OpenVZ on this network, um, as I find the OpenVZ container is pretty cool to work with. Um, so that's that pretty much, really and that's my comms cabinet in a nutshell um, but anyway back to the story about this Dow Power Edge 2650 I ordered it from a company online CCL Online which is uh, currently trading on eBay at the moment selling off um, servers which they repossessed from data centers around the UK um, and I got this particular one for £30 yes guys 30 quid um, with the postage I think I paid around 40 quid but that was an absolute bargain but um, not only that folks, that's not the reason why I'm stuck here telling you that that's a fancy bargain. Um, I will turn the camera off and uh, I will tell you why this server is such a bargain. Okay folks, so now we're in another room in, uh, in my house, that's my bedroom. <laughs> I, the, the day later, after receiving my Dow Power Edge, I was quite shocked to see another one on my doorstep the day later. So again, this is another Dow Power Edge 2650 with 4 gigs of RAM and two 3.6 gigahertz processors. Both of these machines I've looked on eBay and are, are retailing around 
roughly between 150 to 280 pounds worth of servers still even though they are quite ancient they're running Xeon processors on 32-bit platform but this one was given to me for free yes the guys at, at, the, at the company that I mentioned pressed the order button twice and uh, of course I got another server out of it so that's fantastic so now I have a backup server too um, and that will soon be replaced by my massive um, my massive AMD um, machine which is a 4U unit it takes a horrific amount of space up in my um, in my rack and it isn't really doing much so uh, it will be replaced by this and uh, also a new rackable unit will be brought for my Dratec Vigor unit um, so I'm able to rack it back in the rack which is great so that is my network in a nutshell and my free Dow Power Edge 2650 amazing